It's official today. A local energy company will close a Sullivan County mine for good. Officials with Halidor Energy say Sunrise Coal is permanently closing. The company says it lost money operating the mine during the 18 months prior to it being idled back in January. Abigail Degler reached out to the community for reaction to this news. Abigail. Dana, Mike, this announcement has left residents wondering what's going to happen next. Over the years, that so many things have closed that uh, there's just no way to revitalize anything around here. Cheryl Goodman, a local librarian, says in recent years, businesses have been leaving or closing down, making it hard to be hopeful for the community's future. Robert Davis, president of the Sullivan County Commission, says he agrees. I'm trying to figure out how to explain to everybody what's going to happen next. I mean, uh, I feel like a lot of the world has turned against coal. Davis says coal is what keeps some towns alive, and in some cases, their economy going. We're not a real high population county of about 22,000, and I'm worried that that could make it even worse. Goodman worries it will be hard to get younger generations to stay. So we don't have a lot of industry, and when you take the coal mines out or the power plant out, then, you know, what do we have? She says over the years, the answer to that question has changed. The answer used to always be, well, the coal mines, you know, but that's just not feasible. Goodman says there is still hope for the community in light of the closure. Davis says more businesses will come. We just need to believe that they will. That's my full hope. I know we're always looking, people are always talking to our economic development director about different possibilities. He says the community can't give up. We have to keep a positive attitude about it. Goodman says she wants to see representatives and other local governments step in and get jobs back into the community. She says if they don't, the county may not recover.